Hey there, everyone. This is Yui. Welcome to episode 12 of Enigmaticus 6 Expert. Today, we're going to progress into Pneumaticraft. Uh, my goal, tentatively, is to get a pressure chamber with a vacuum pump so I can uh, start moving enchantments around. So, uh, let's get to it. So, to get where I want to get, if you weren't aware, there's a... If you just look up pressure, it uses, and over here, somewhere in this jumbled mess, right here. Uh, if you vacuum out the pressure, you can strip enchantments from items and from multiple books. So if a book has multiple enchantments, you can split them out. And I've got a lot of enchanted items that I would like to uh, get rid of. So I want to smelt them down in the smeltery. Uh, to do that, I'm going to have to set up a blaze blood farm. But I'll do that later because I need more seared brick for that. And then uh, I can strip down the enchantments and put them on to better stuff. So like I could strip all these down if I wanted to. Or, well, like this one specifically because gold leggings. Oh, great. They're so awesome. There's just better things I can do with it. So, uh, I have been mostly just waiting around. I've been making a little bit of steel here and a lot of bit of steel here. So this is the bees. I set up a second centrifuge. This one is manual, not automated. So this one's for the sooty. That's to make the refined fuel and tar. Refined fuel, doing good. We're gonna actually need that today, apparently because they disabled the air compressor. And then uh, I just take the steel. I moved this setup last time. That's in the uncut episode. It just uh, sits it here. And then it eventually converts it to steel. So I've got plenty of steel to get started. So I'm not worried about that. I don't have a ton of... Uh, I do have a lot more tar than the last time I checked. This was at 80 last time I looked. So, <laughs> yeah. Great. So we need steel. Let's grab all of it. And one more. So I think the only difference between making compressed iron the way I'm going to and making it through the pressure chamber is the pressure chamber requires half the amount of obsidian. So I'm just going to make a bunch of this now so I don't have to worry about it for a while. Now unfortunately that's uh, e it, for each piece of steel you need a piece of tar and a piece of obsidian if you do it in the pressure chamber it's two pieces of steel two pieces of tar and then one piece of obsidian but we're not that far yet so uh this is a uh, six whatever 12 times 18 is off the top of my head it's uh what 144 plus another six times 12 72 so 200 and uh uh, 16? 216? Does that sound right? Don't know. We'll find out. Oh, that's like all of it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just pull all of that out. We'll pull out an equivalent amount of obsidian. And uh, let's just do this real quick. What? Oh, wait, I'm, I'm way wrong. Is that really it? Hang on. Divided by two. That's why, because it's two inputs goes to 18, so it's nine, whatever. All right, drop all that off. This should be correct. Let's double check. Okay, 
compressed. Well, we do need that. Okay, here we're going to cool it in the world. So it's going to be this hot compressed iron, which is going to be a multi servo press of superheated steel, which is, yeah, see, it's two. Eh, whatever. Ah, that's a lot. That's all that, though, so it should be good. And then... We blow it up. And then we... Okay, let's make this. That looks like... Constantin and Invar around that, sure. This is the first press that's a little bit different. Invar. And uh, become plates. It's slowly getting there. These things. They're not fast at all. And I've got my books queued up because I'm going to need a lot of books. All right, let's make you. Throw you in here. And then I think we're good to blow stuff up. I think... So, I don't know if this will count. Could you not light the ground on fire? Oh, my picture frames! <laughs> They're not protected under the uh, claimed chunks. Okay, good to know. Not like these are anything important they're just random maps that i have to go do still and uh this way what do we blow up this way we're good this way i think so let's uh double check okay so one piece of steel to one piece of obsidian to one piece of tar so two blocks to 18 yes so I think we're good. Let's take off the ring for a second. Throw all that down and hope we don't blow up a bunch of resources we need. Oh, it worked. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Yeah, it does warn you it's hot. What do you need? Oh. I sh should do that, huh? How much fire are you going to light me on? Why am I still on fire? That is way too much. Okay, you know, problem solved. After it took a ton of health. So, process this. This is also extremely hot. You know what? Let's grab our bucket. What do we got to do with this again? Uh, I think we just throw it in the water. We do. And then what do you do otherwise? Nothing. So saving this is probably a waste. Yeah, it looks like saving it's a waste. Yeah, 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 I get it. There we go. Well, uh, 
I guess let's just make a couple. This has one left, actually. After that. You see eight, and it's like, oh, that's going to be a while. But no, it's not, because it, it takes four at once. Okay, light ourselves on fire again. Yeah, what now? And then throw it in here. Hmm. And then throw it in here. Maybe. Oh, there we go. It needed to be a source. Ten. No. There we go. The other two were hiding. Ah, we're just going to leave that water there in case I light myself on fire doing something else. Great. And uh, that's how you get compressed iron. We can throw back on the ring and figure out what to do with this because it's not straightforward as crafting. We're going to have to melt it and then mix it with a gray concrete. Let's, uh, let's make one up real quick. Uh, sure, just something. No light gray. Because why would I? I've got that. <laughs> oh, wait. Azure. I'm probably going to need a significant amount of this. If I had to guess. And usually you can throw these in the millstone. So Crusher is... The same. Oh, we're going to throw it in the millstone. Is your guaranteed doubling there? And look at it go. Man, these are some weird crafting recipes. Okay, so concrete. Oh, we're going to need. More random time. Let's see here. What is it? It's, we're making compressed stone. Reinforced stone. Reinforced stone. Okay. So 18 millibuckets. And is that nine? No. Eight. Yeah, eight. Eight sounds good. So it's one ingot to eight concrete powder. So one is so it's it's the same except we're replacing cobblestone with concrete. So we're not wasting more compressed iron at least. Uh just give me all of it. That's a lot. I did want all of it though, so <laughs> I guess this will be there's so many different ways to do it we could do it in here we can do it in there and we could do it in a casting table I guess I'll just go with the fluid encapsulator they're all the same well this might be faster let's do that Oh, you dang pick. I can't say, you know, I'd be sad if I stripped off that uh excavation enchant. So it's processing time. I am going to set this to output. Throw in. Do we need compressed iron anytime soon? I'd, I'll say yes, and we'll just do half. Because I know we're going to need a ton of this stupid stuff here. 
Oh, great. Actually, we don't need that much, do we? We'll do four. So, uh, that's that, and then... Export... Why do you not want to go in there? You do. Molten compressed iron, molten compressed iron. What? What are you doing? It puts... <laughs> it puts a little bit up there, and then... Okay, whatever. Let's do that. Grab a mechanical pipe. Configurator. There, now it's happy. Okay, so that should make me quite a significant amount. I'm gonna do that. Let's grab a hopper. Let's grab a regular hopper. And I guess a chest input let's wait on the output a second you're extracting good if I throw in a piece of you you get peed on and there you go not like so No, once again, you're wrong. There you go. That'll work. Ah, uh, no problems. Hopper status. I guess I need... Hang on. Well, let's see here. If I put one in, is it just going to get sucked out right away? The answer is yes. Yes, it will. So I need to make what? Like six. Put them in. Let them get. <laughs> that just looks so weird. <laughs> Let's try this again. Can you? No, you can't. Okay, but that'll work. Mode, leave one item for filtering. There you go. Rest go in there. Now we can throw you here. Fill you up. And we're going to start getting reinforced stone. So I'm going to let that go for a bit and I'll be back. All right, it's uh, time to continue down this rabbit hole of new matter craft because I accidentally discovered a couple things, which will be fun. Anyways, oh, uh, that's not even... How much is left? Eh, quite a bit, but... Four stacks, good enough. With that, we need to craft up a few things. Uh, you know, the pressure chamber stuff. We're going down this line. I would like to get here. We need to get a liquid compressor because the air compressor is disabled in expert mode. So let's just uh, start by making not those. Ton of them. Because I would like to set up a bigger one. We'll see. Let's put that away. Okay, so we need 
two chamber interfaces. Uh, kind of expensive. That's eight ingots a piece right there. We need a pressure chamber valve, and this is where the problem comes in. So we need the hardened integral components, which means we need advanced PCB. Normally, you get advanced PCP along after you get uh, a pressure chamber, but this case, we need it beforehand. So this top one is the pneumaticraft recipe. This bottom one is the entry one, I believe. So I've already crafted up uh, all this junk, not the logic circuits, because I don't know how to make them just yet. But the rams, uh, they're pretty easy. Circuit backplane we've seen using the sequenced assembly. And then uh, these things are just cobblestone and uh, some redstone. So pretty doable. I've got enough to make three of them as soon as I figure out how to make the logic circuit. The logic circuit says you can craft it in an engineer's circuit table, which is right here. So let's make that up. I've got most of or all of the components. Yes. The only thing here is uh, you need some prismarine crystals. Uh, you can get them. Let me dump this uh, here for now. Let me not dump this here for now because it requires power. I did not know it required power. Uh, here we go. You. No, do not insert torches. Okay, thank you. You can insert power because it says it wants power. It also says no. Is it a side thing? Okay, there. Through that little block there. And then it says if we choose set we don't need vacuum tubes i i don't know if this will work because we can't make vacuum tubes that's requires a blueprint which requires upgrade matrix which requires processing plant uh oh uh yeah because we can't can we no because we need the pcb beforehand so yeah we're in a, a weird loop if we require because then we need the pcb to make the liquid compressor to power the system that's required to make the upgrade component so Vacuum tubes are out. So let's grab one, just one, and see if it works. Let's request everything except that and then throw this in here. Okay, great. It works. So let me grab the other two. Set. Set. And we'll just go request, place, request, and place. And there we go. Three of them should be enough to get started. I hope. Okay, we need two of these hardened kits. They are pretty expensive. And you know what? We should also uh, just put this on the side and do a nice clean sweep of the book. Anything good. Ice, copper, flour, saplings. Hey, we got some connectors. Some more random food. Hello. Couple reinforced guys. Oh, Clay B. Hello. 
Play sounds nice. There you go. Go enjoy your freedom. Let's see here. Clay. Clay requires flour, so he'll be perfectly fine in there. And the spare will go in here. Token of undying friendship. Don't you get that, like, breeding or something? Precision mechanisms and that I made. Tier 2 hive upgrade. Okay, honeycomb. Eh, ancient logs. Interesting. We need the uh, ancient saplings, preferably. Art and glass. Machine frame. Okay. And you... Double up. We don't need to, and we can't, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just keep this, I guess. And I'll stash that. Cobalt. I think I already have a smart wrench. Power. And then all these guys. They can store for now. In fact, that can store too. Speaking of power, it's not power that we need. But if we grab redstone, let's grab three stacks. Obsidian. I'll grab a few just in case it doesn't want to convert more than one at a time. And if we go downstairs, because we're going to need this at some point. I forget where and when, but let's just get it now so we don't have to worry about it later. If we go down even further, we hit bedrock. Take our ring off. And let's see if I remember this. It's just going to be throw the stacks. And then, nope. And then place it? No. Place it above it. Let's try this again. And then right click it. Is it, is it click it? Do we attack it? No. Lux. Left click the obsidian. There we go. And that we'll need for I have no idea what it was. Ah, uh, but it was something. Oh, these. It's going to be for PCB. And a lot of other things. There you go. Turbine blade so I can make a pump. That's probably what I originally saw it from. That lit itself on fire. Ha ha. Oh, and then the other thing I did while waiting real quick is uh, just set this up. This is just a smeltery with a redstone powered blaze spawner in the middle oh it's gone with a spawn agitator on it spawning blazes to create blazing blood which I have piping in there and all the way up to the smeltery upstairs right there so I have an unlimited supply of blazing blood instead of using lava so I can melt down all of the armor that I get. So I melted down the netherite stuff, got a little over a stack, and there's some more I can melt down. I like repairing it first so it, uh, you know, you get the full bar out of it. But that'll melt down pretty quick, turn into a an ingot and come out. And then just, you know, the vanilla hopper underneath to pull it. All right, let's toss that away. 
put the ring back on. And then I think we needed this. Nope, it's there. Okay, that, and we need a liquid compressor. Uh, this is pretty easy. I did not make the bellows yet. But that's just treated wood and hemp. So, but this more compressed iron, so I'm already running low. And then, let's see, so compressed. Yeah, I got 44 left. We need the reinforce. No, it's uh, the pressure. Let's just grab all of those. So we've got that, that, and that. So I think we're good. Can I upgrade these into... I can, if I want to see inside, which I probably do um let's grab a few that'll get 12 nope hardened glass Try that again. There, that way I can uh, see what's inside. Um, I don't really know where I want to set this up. Let's grab a lever. I guess since we need access to this fuel... Actually, it doesn't matter, because we could just run a line somewhere. No. Let's just set it up here. <laughs> Make this place even more crowded. Okay. Liquid compressor. High signal. Not there. Let's get some pipes out. And then uh, I guess we'll set it up right here. Where the poor uh, flower is. So usually a three by three can hold one valve, but it doesn't necessarily mean a four by four requires two. Let's find out real quick. Oh, let's just go in the wall. That's the other thing is I made a thermal, what is it? Thermal electric generator. And, uh, you know, it produces, uh, I think, more power than all three dynamos, because I got one there and those two there combined. And we'll just uh, fill this in. And if this works, I'll probably at some point, not right now, upgrade it to a uh, three by uh, five by five. So that's it's a three by three internal. Okay, uh, that's output. No, let's do it the other way. Output here and input here out in pressure can go in there
And let's see if this forms. It does. And it comes with its own free security upgrade. So then all we got to do is run the pressure from here. Nope, not there. I want it to go... Actually, you know, can we just rotate this? That would be better. That way I can just run it like that. No, go up. And does it spit out? There, are we good? Let's get a mechanical pipe. Throw you here. Uh, how do I place you like this? Side, you, output. Okay, so we've got fuel. It requires a signal. So if we flip that, we are now getting pressure. So then this requires, you know, a good amount of pressure. This will hold quite a bit. Yeah, we're we got a while to wait. So I am going to take a cut here, let this pressure fill up, and then uh, figure out where we're going next. All right, and we're back. Uh, I've done a little bit here. So I've set up a second pressure chamber. It's uh, not currently working i have it disconnected because i want to make this one a vacuum over here let's talk some uh annoying but also very beneficial stuff uh one of the quests with the compressor wants a pressure gauge uh this little guy is right here it will emit a redstone signal based off of the pressure in the pipe not machine not machine question mark hang on hold on a second because that would be a better idea I thought I tried putting it on the machine, but I may not have tried putting it on the machine side that outputs pressure. So let's just craft one of these up and you want a pipe. There you go. And I just threw the rest on the ground. So pick that up. This side emits pressure. Oh no, I just can't connect to it. Okay. Good. So, I'm not, I'm not going crazy. Uh, in that matter. Uh so the the annoying part is I can't read that redstone signal directly. I need to read it indirectly by actually having it go to a piece of redstone. So, I've got to go to a redstone. I've got a connector set to a different thing altogether because uh that one was getting kind of full, so I just started another one. This one is a sensor. Redstone mode. Less than nine. Nine is about four and a half bars worth of pressure. So if it's less than four and a half bars, send a signal on white, black, black, black. That signal then gets output right here. White, then three blacks to a redstone lamp and to the liquid compressor the liquid compressor is set to high signal mode so when this hits eight this lamp will turn on and this machine will turn on so the lamp is just a quick uh, quick visual glance 
So if we grab, say I want to make a pump, which I really do, I need these turbine routers, which need these blades, which need to be made in the pressure chamber. So that's Invar, plates. I totally had this ready. We'll just, uh, you know. <laughs> At least it's not terribly long to make plates. In var 9 request, that flux dust we made before. And then uh, servos. And then I'll get you one. Uh, the pressure needs to be between 1 and 5. Uh, the automation will keep it at about four and a half or lower if it's filling up. This uh, machine is what you would say not very fast. Time in a bottle really does help. But you, if you're using time in a bottle, be aware that these machines do explode. And it, they, I think they explode closer to seven, though. And they do do take time to disperse the pressure so if you right now it's all balanced at four and a half uh while this is generating this will have the most pressure and this will have the least pressure or this pipe here uh, the pipe i'm reading off is a little bit away from the uh, compressor so when i throw this stuff in and i am using a hopper here because these basic cables are trash they only transfer one item at a time, and uh, they're so slow that by the time the one item gets here and it doesn't get to insert the second one before it closes the gate. But it is filling up. I can't see the items. That's probably either my glitching or OptiFine, so I'm not worried about it. Usually you can see the items in there. Uh, should have produced it there it is now they're coming out and the pressure is going to be vaguely different so it's generating now no problems it's at 4.4 .4, and then 39 37 38 36 34 so it's a uh, it slowly di disperses it through the uh the pipe network but once this pipe reaches four and a half it'll shut off so this can reach a lot higher if I uh, say 256 times faster on it. This will blow up. <laughs> Pretty sure it will. So I'm not going to. But let's grab those. Come back in here. Throw them in. I already have routers. I believe I got them from looting villages. Rotors. Rotors. Not routers rotors and a couple tubes so let's make up come on let's make up the pump let's go ahead and claim our rewards a memory stick oh Interesting. I already have a solution thanks to the undergarden. But that also goes in a curio slot. Any? Any. You can put it in any slot. How much do you hold? And uh, sneak right click, okay. I don't know, the hockey is probably a hockey for the auto absorb. But there we go. Nice. I'll just keep that on me. Because that'll auto absorb, and I don't think the book will. Ooh, and we got speed upgrades. Speed upgrades will be nice. Uh, but they'll, they'll also run the possibility of. Uh, killing your air supply but let's grab the pump i believe this is positive side towards you yes so i want positive side this way 
Let's put that security back in there and we'll speed it up one tick. Okay, so this will suck the pressure out of this side, which is here, and create a vacuum in here and uh, move the pressure to the other side. However, doing so, it will use pressure and I believe the amount it uses is more than the amount it quote unquote generates by moving it over. There we go. Now that'll spin up. This has to be at, I forget, two bars. This side has to be two bars or higher before this will work. And there we go. We're good. So the books should, should go in there. Maybe it's waiting. Oh, it just doesn't have enough pressure. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Can we just do a little bit of... Uh, one of them? Yeah. One of those? Yeah, see, it's definitely using up the pressure more than it builds up. Minus 10. So it'll be a, it'll be a minute, I think. Oh, look, it gave us a, gave us an enchanting book. That's weird. But let's grab, actually, that's a, that's a good, uh, demonstration here. Cause that's got three on it. So we'll be able to split them off and uh, use them individually once this pressure drops. So I'll be back in a minute. Well, it's uh, it's not the fastest and you know, it reset back to zero after the books went in, but the books are in now. So uh, all you gotta do is throw in what you wanna split and this will randomly pick one. So it's what holding smite and capacity. It'll put it in. Then it'll pull out a book with something on it. There we go. We got the capacity off. And I believe it only does one a cycle. Or it might do more. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, that's it. Just one a cycle. And we're still at 98, so we're good. And then, uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to be doing for quite a while. Get all my enchanting books all those enchanted items so I can melt them down in the uh, smeltery setup and just clear out some inventory. Well, it's not going to clear out inventory because the books don't stack. But there you have it. That's as far as I wanted to get to. I want to get right there. The, the vacuum pressure chamber. So uh, that's going to be it for this episode. If you uh, made it this far, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.